This video is for those who are using Windows 7 operating system and want to verify that their headset, similar to the ones that they see here, are installed and working properly. So let's get started. Let me first just minimize the headset listing screen and we want to go ahead and open up your control panel. To do this, you want to move your mouse over your start button located in the bottom left hand corner, click on it, and from there you should be able to see the word control panel. Go ahead and click on that and that will open up your control panel window. Now my window might look a little bit different than yours because I have my view setting listed as small icons versus categories. Yours might look like the category view but for this demonstration let's go ahead and switch back to the small icons. Once this is done you'll notice that everything is listed in alphabetical order. I'd like you to find the sound setting and go ahead and click on that to open up the sound window. Now as I drag my sound window into view you will notice that I have four tabs. One for playback, one for recording, one for sounds, and one for communications. The first thing I want you to check is the recordings tab. So go ahead and click on that. Now your window might look a little bit different than mine, but what we want to focus on is to make sure that we do have a microphone listed. We want to make sure that we have a green check by the microphone icon. And if you notice over on the right hand side, we see that the volume bar is moving up and down as I speak to you to record this video. If you don't see these things, let's go ahead and walk through to make sure everything is set properly. So let's start with the green check. We want to make sure if you highlight the microphone and you write check, if there's an option to set this as the default device, you want to go ahead and click it. As you can see, having this green check signifies that this is the default device that the computer is going to use to record your voice. If the sound bar is not moving up and down, we want to check the volume settings to see if they are in fact set properly. To do that, we've highlighted the microphone, we've gone down to the properties tab, and let's go ahead and click on it. And you can see that opens up a new window for the microphone properties. First thing that we want to check are the volume levels. So go ahead and check on the word levels and you can see that I have mine set about 70 and I have my microphone boost set about 20 dBs. Now it might have to change slightly depending on your computer and the environment that you're in but if you are soft-spoken, you might want to increase your microphone level up to about 80 or 90. And you might want to increase your microphone boost up one more notch to 30. But as a general rule of thumb, I would keep it at 20 and I would keep your microphone setting somewhere around 70 or 75%. Make sure over on the right hand side here that the microphone is not muted. I'm going to click on that. You'll hear silence, but you'll also see a red circle in this window signifying that the mute is, or excuse me, the microphone is muted. Okay, let's go back and look at the general tab. We want to make sure that the device usage is enabled, which it is. Under the listen tab, we want to make sure that listen to this device is not checked. This will enable you to hear your voice through your headset when you're speaking. And most people, believe me, do not like listening to themselves talk. Under enhancements, you don't have to worry about that. Just go ahead and stick with the default settings along with the advanced tab. That should be just set to the default settings. Go ahead and click on OK. Once the microphone has been established and the settings are proper and you've had to possibly increase the volume, you should see this bar move up and down when you speak into the microphone. Now for the playback settings, which is playback through your headphones, we're going to look at the same thing right here. Now you can see that 
this is set as my default device and you're not seeing anything bounce up and down here because I'm not listening to myself talk. If I go back over real quickly <clears throat> over to properties and listen, listen to this device here. Go ahead and click, click on, on apply, apply and, and I'm going to click, click OK, OK and go, go back, back to playback. playback. You, you can, can see my voice, voice is now coming, coming through, through my headset, headset and, and the volume is going up and down. down. Very, Very distracting. distracting. So, so I'm going to go ahead and cancel, cancel this. this. Hold, Hold on, on one sec. sec. Now, you might want to try that for fun, but believe me, it is pretty distracting uh, when that thing is checked. So uh, if you're listening to music or someone's talking to you VoIP uh, over the internet, uh, you should hear their voice through your headset and that green bar would go up and down. All right. One other option you might want to try that some people do uh, is they click the configure tab as, as a test and I'll walk you through that real quick here. Uh, just go ahead and click on that and you would go ahead and click on set up your microphone which is right here and we are using a headset microphone not a desktop microphone so we'll go ahead and make sure that that is clicked and click next and we want to make sure that the microphone is about one inch maybe an inch and a half uh, from your mouth and once that's established go ahead and click on next and it asks you to speak into the microphone stating that Peter dictates to his computer he prefers it to typing in particular he prefers it to pen and paper and you can notice that uh, as I'm speaking into this uh, microphone that the bar is moving over to the right and left uh, it's a little bit on the low side that's the way I like it uh, if it's bouncing way over into the red section uh, that's letting you know that your volume setting might be set too high so after you've talked into the computer, uh, it recognizes your voice. You can see that the next button is now activated. Go ahead and click next. And it says everything that the computer is working correctly. It's positioned correctly and uh, everything is good to go. So go ahead and finish this and I will go ahead and close this window. And that's the general settings uh, that you go through to make sure that your headset uh, is configured properly for both sound for the microphone and sound for the head headphone. If you have any questions uh, and you're continuing to have difficulty, feel free to give us a call on our tech line. Uh, you can reach us directly at area code 360-823-4100. We're open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Pacific Coast time. Hopefully this video was helpful. Thank you.